All right, so welcome to my series of videos on applied macroeconomics. And um, in this particular video, um, I've done a very short video explaining the practicalities of balance of payment accounts. Now, in this um, budget, this is the budget statement of Ghana. And um, in the appendix, we have the balance of payment accounts. So here, we can see that the balance of payment accounts starts with current account balance. So in the current account balance, we have the trade balance. We have the trade balance. So when we are talking about trade here, we are talking about the visible trade, um, the visible trade balance. So here we have um, the trade balance in 2017 is 1187 in millions of dollars and then the breakdown of that trade balance we have um trading uh, or export of merchandise goods um which is 13 835 and the breakdown of those exports are here um we exported cocoa beans gold crude oil and other exports then our total import is 12648 all right, so if 13835, which is the total export of goods, if we subtract the import of 12648, we are going to get a total visible trade balance of 1187. All right, then going down, we have the services balance, which is the net, the net services balance was negative 2,873, okay, of which, the export of services was 6602 because we get inflows from services when we export. So we have a total export of services of 6602. Then we incur outflows on services when we import. So that means that the total importation of services amounted to 9475. So the balance on the service account is the export which gave us an inflow of 6602, and then um, the import which led to an outflow of 9475. Okay, so that is the balance on trade and that is the balance on service. Now the next main item in the current account is the investment income. That is what I said in the previous video that um, investment income talks about the receipt of income on our assets. All right, so if Ghanaian hold asset outside, and if that asset pays income, okay, that will be an inflow. And if foreigners owe asset here, and if that asset pays them income, it will be an outflow. So the total investment income, the net was two, negative 2741, of which the inflow was 309, and the outflows was negative 3050, which led to a net of negative 2741. All right. Then again, we have other transfers, other current transfers, um, which is okay. So when it comes to other current transfers, um, which can be a grant or any remittance or etc., as as taught in other video, um, we had a total. So in this year, there was. Um, a total net official transfers of zero. When we say total net official transfer, that's official transfers inside the country and official transfer outside the country, the net was zero. Then we have private individual transfers, the net was 2424. That means that the net transfers into the country exceeded the net transfers outside the country by 2424. All right, that's why we have the net to be there. So when you add these two, those two would um, constitute the net current transfers. So the balance on the current transfers, as well as the balance on the investment income, and then the balance on the service, and then the balance on the trade, when you put all of them together, you get the total balance on the current account, okay? So the total ba balance on the current account was minus 2003. All right, so now let's go to the um, capital and financial account. So for the capital and financial account, it recorded a net total of 3016.
when we say net total of 301 says it means that um, the total inflows minus the total outflows out of the um, capital and financial account. So here um, we have the net capital account to be 242 of which everything is transfers. Then the financial account, the net was 2774. And this, everything here gives the breakdown of the financial account. So with the capital and financial account, anytime we buy asset outside, it's an outflow, money goes out. And anytime foreigners come and buy an asset here, money comes inside. So this, anytime you see a minus figure, it means that there's an outflow. Anytime we have, or anytime you see a minus figure and it is net, that means that the outflow exceeds the inflow, all right? So here, the overall balance will be the balance of the capital and financial account plus that of the current account. The current account was negative, but the capital and financial was positive. And that would have given our final balance. But sometimes, sometimes there is a um, statistical discrepancy. Okay, sometimes there's a statistical discrepancy. So here, um, if there was errors in computation of account and we realize it later, we will bring those errors here. So it means that the 78 here probably means we understated it or there was errors or omissions that we found out later. So those errors or omissions, because it is, it is, under, it is an understatement, we add it back. So then the final overall balance will be the errors or omissions figure plus the balance on the capital and financial account plus the balance on the current account. Okay, so here in all, we have an overall balance of positive 1091. We have an overall balance of positive 1091. What does it mean? What it means is that more money came into Ghana than how many left the shores of Ghana. So this one means that it has positive implications for our exchange rate. Because if more money came into Ghana than more money leaving Ghana, it means that in Ghana, we demanded less of a foreign currency. Because if money is going, if, if CD is going out of Ghana, it has to change and we would have demanded a foreign currency. So in this, in this situation where more money is coming in than money going out, that means that our CD is not really chasing the outside currency like how the outside currency is chasing our city. Because for outside currency to enter into our country, it must be changed to cities. And for our money to go out of the country, it must be changed into the foreign currency. So once we have a positive balance of payment account balance, what it means is that it has positive implications for our balance of payment. And of course, it will make our exchange rate stabilized. Okay, so we are going to look at another simple example. So this question says that the following information on Ghana's, this is the following information is on Ghana's balance of payment account for 2013 in millions of dollars is provided. So here we have the current account figures, mechanized export, that is export of physical goods. We have mechanized import, that is import of physical goods. And of course, the, diff, the net, or the export minus import, we have an, an, a negative trade balance of 4413.1. Then um, here, the services was given as net. So this is the net services here. Okay, and then of course the breakdown is the receipt we made on services minus the payment we made to services. All right, receipt we made on services is of course, the, when we exported services, the money we got. And then um, the payment is when we import service, the money we pay. Then here we have net um, income on assets. Okay, net income on assets. So this is the receipt we made on our asset outside. And this the payment we made on asset that are here that are owned by foreigners. Of course, income and receipt on the asset, but not off the asset. Okay. All right, so here we are not focusing on buying and selling the asset, but rather the income and payments 
So when you have invested in an asset, the income you receive on the asset, all right? And then the payment, are, um, when foreigners have assets here, the income they also receive on the asset here. So it's a payment to the outside world, okay? Then we also have other current transfers, which is a net figure of negative 795.20. Okay, so then that's everything together as so with the balance on um, the trade, as well as the services, as well as the income on assets, as well as other net transfers. Everything together is going to give us the balance on the current account. Then we have the financial account issues here. So we have the balance on the capital and financial account here. So here, the capital account balance was this figure, and the breakdown is um, there's only capital, the net capital transfer, which is a positive. That means that um, outsiders transferred more capital to us than how we um, transferred capital outside. So again, let's go over again here. What I want you to know is that if the capital account balance is positive, okay, what it means is that more capital came into our country than how capital left our country, all right? That means that people transferred more of their capital into Ghana than how we transferred our capital outside, okay? Then in the financial account, that, was, that talks about investment. So if the direct investment is positive, that means that, that, means that Foreigners invested more in our country than we invested outside. Remember, this whole balance of payment account, any money that comes in is a plus. Any money that goes out is a minus. So here, if you look at the portfolio investment and net, that means that here, we made, or Ghanaians made more foreign portfolio investments outside than um, how foreigners made it in Ghana here. Okay, so that is why we have a negative balance. Then we have other investments where the balance is positive. That also means that for uh, these other investments, short-term capital and other investments, the, the moment the balance is positive, what it means is that we Ghanaians, we made lesser other investments outside than how foreigners made other investments here in Ghana. So the overall balance is 2317.56. Now, the required is that we should calculate Ghana's current account. Okay, so let's remember that the current account is the balance on trade services, income, and other transfers. So we are just going to add those balances to the trade balance plus the services balance plus the balance on other income plus current transfers. And that will give us our current account balance to be negative. All right. Then again, if you want to look at the capital and financial account balance, what it means is that we add all the items under the capital and financial account balance. That's the capital transfers, the direct investment, portfolio investment, plus other investments, and we had a positive figure, okay? So then what is the overall balance of payment? The overall balance of payment is we are going to add the total balance on the current account to the total balance on the capital and financial account. So, when you add that, okay, you are going to get a figure which is different from the figure here. So the overall balancing figure per the question is this figure, okay? But if you do what I'm saying, you add the balance on the current account as well as the capital and financial account, you are going to have a figure which is different from the overall balancing figure. And this still brings in the idea of statistical discrepancy, all right? So the difference between the actual balance and the balance as reported is the statistical discrepancy which takes care of errors and omissions. So the statistical discrepancy is the figure reported minus the actual balance and the actual balance is what? The current account balance plus the financial and uh, capital and financial account balance, okay? So per the question, we have a positive balance of payment, okay? And of course, that led us to having um, statistical discrepancy of a negative figure because if there's the actual balance reported and there's the balance computed, the difference is as a result of statistical discrepancy. 
So finally, the question says, what did the balance of payment imply about Ghanaian economic condition? So here, because we have a positive figure for balance of payment, what it means is that, and, and listen, before we move on, what we use for interpretation is the reported one, not your computed. Because indeed, if you are computing and you already have a reported one in the question, the difference between what you get, you get in your computation and the reported one is that you have to put, the difference there is the statistical discrepancy, which you have to put in your computations so that you obtain the final balance as reported by the question, which is this, okay? Now, if the final balance is 2317.56, which is positive, what is the implication for the Ghanaian economy? The, 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 the Ghanaian economy, the implication is that we have a balance of payment surplus, which means that more currency is flowing into our country than how currency is flowing outside our country, and which will mean that our currency is going to appreciate because if more currency is flowing into our country, it means that there's more supply of foreign um, currency, okay? And if less CD is leaving our country, that means that there's a less demand for foreign currency. That means that our exchange rate is going to appreciate, right? So the Ghanaian city is going to appreciate and the currency of the outside world is going to depreciate. Okay, so this will bring us to um, the end of this series. Um, please like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Thank you.